What up everyone, Michael B. Petty here and I'm back at it with another video. Now things have been going a little bit crazy in Amberland. I have been getting inundated with tons of tweets being like, you have to see this video, you have to see this video. It's the cringiest shit that ever existed. And I was, I've had a lot going on this week. I've had my first exams for this new semester going on. So I was like waiting and waiting and trying not to watch it. and so I can give you an honest reaction to everything. Um, but I did see this one tweet, my girl, A Girl Comics. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to her channel because her boyfriend's going to actually get a tattoo of Amberlynn Reed when she reaches 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to leave the link down to her channel below. So make sure to go over there. She's a bomb artist. She's like, she's super dope. Her boyfriend's super dope, but like, I need this tattoo to happen. It's like vital to my well-being at this point. I saw her tweet this either last night or this morning. It, it was someone had got a screenshot of one of Amberlynn's tweets. And really, it just kind of made me a little bit livid. The tweet says, um, so you're saying when YouTubers make parodies or silly videos, they are actually saying fuck you to their subscribers? That's utter bullshit. It was a four minute video of me just joking around. I can't have a sense of humor because of the size I am. Now that's ridiculous. Now, I don't really, I haven't watched the video yet. I mean, I know it has to do with orange chicken, so I'm not entirely sure what she means by this and what she's trying to um, accomplish with this, but I just think it's ridiculous how, of course, she would bring everything back to her size and like why she's not funny. I think she's not funny because she's just really not funny. It has nothing to do with her size. Now, if we look at history of comics and history of people who are funny, um, tons of big people have been funny and been very successful. I mean, look at Melissa McCarthy. Like, not everyone agrees with her humor but she is a comic she does incredibly well in the movie universe she's probably one of the highest paid actresses right now ralphie may rest in peace extremely funny uh burt kreischer uh hilarious um tom segura i mean he's lost some weight but he's super fucking funny too shane dawson was funny even before he lost weight um so your size obviously has nothing to do with the fact that if you're funny or not you either have a sense of humor or you don't you're either witty or you're not you're either smart or you're not so i just think it's funny how once again because she's attacked on her lack of humor or her video being bad it all comes back to because it's because she's 540 pounds that's the reason why people don't like her um i don't think it has anything to do with that i just think it's the fact that people are tired of your bullshit they don't think you're funny. Now, with that being said, I want to actually get into a live reaction of the video. I haven't watched yet. I've been I've been trying to just keep, steer clear. I'm not watching any of the live streams, not watching any of my other friends' videos about it because I want to have like a genuine, honest reaction to her video. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm a pin. <sighs> right away with the Coke Zeros. Right and... away with the Coke Zeros. I can't tell you how long. Or Sprite Zero, sorry, my bad. You guys bad. know I love orange chicken. We do know you love orange chicken. I love the Cheesecake Factory. True, that's both like, very true. Orange chicken is, I think, my soulmate. And okay. I feel like I could marry orange chicken. I know that's what scary to some people. And All right, already from the jump, I'm kind of just like, what is she, tr I mean... You want to marry orange chicken now? Like, you've already, like, I know she's trying to be funny, but, like, the joke is that, in essence, she's kind of already married the orange chicken. I mean, her, the cholesterol is already, from the orange chicken has married her arteries. So, I mean, I don't really know what she's trying to do with this. Like, is she trying to pretend, like, is she trying to make it seem like we're over-exaggerating the fact that she, like, loves orange chicken so much. Like, no, we know you love orange chicken because literally you make your, you plan your vacations around going to Cheesecake Factory and getting orange chicken. What the fuck? Like, I'm so confused by, like, what she's trying to accomplish with this video, and I can already see why people are, like, annoyed as fuck. And I'm sure her subscribers are just like, wow, just, like, spit in our face, why don't you? I just... I think it's wrong that people can't marry food pretty much because I would- What are you talking about? That is so stupid. Like, ugh, I can't. Like, this is already bad. This is already super fucking bad. Marry orange chicken every day and I would eat it every day. I would wake up. You do kind of eat it every day though. Like literally when you are within a 10 mile radius of Cheesecake Factory orange chicken, you have proven that you would eat it every day. Like if you lived in Lexington, given the fact that you are making so much money on YouTube, 
you would go and eat it every day if you could. You would get that shit post mated to you. You'd get that shit Uber Eats to you. Shit, you'd make Becky go out and get it for you. Like if Eric drove, you'd make him go and get it for you. The only reason why you are not eating it every day right now is because it's geographically and regionally like impossible for you to do that because you would have to drive three hours back back and forth every day just to get some fucking orange chicken. And like even Becky understands how fucking ridiculous that is. Every day and fall in love with it all over again and just kind of experience the love I have for it every day, every minute. I don't even know if I would sleep, to be honest. I just... See, I feel like she's trying to go with satire and sarcasm, but the thing is, is that it's all ringing true. And I think that's why people are kind of like annoyed by this because it is all you think about it's all you do you don't sleep over it like you can't you've said before in past videos that you have trouble sleeping on an empty stomach so it's like i understand that like you're trying to be you're trying to kind of make a caricature a care um, ooh, a, ooh, i like ate that word you're trying to like make a caricature of like what people and your haters think about you but the truth is that you're already a caricature you're already that you're an exaggeration of what someone should be already so you either need to go like way to the fucking extreme like over the fucking top in order for us to get the satire or just don't do it because you're just you're kind of just reaffirming people's likes truths about you and that doesn't work i love it so much i like the texture we know and the thing is though you we guys know. it's not the orange chicken from everywhere it has to purely just be from the cheesecake factory purely like i purely purely not purely like i it's so crazy to me how a, a like a cunning linguist like amberlyn reed cannot figure out how to properly enunciate the word purely like for I don't know how long it's been since she's been on this fucking platform making these fucking videos, there are certain words that she just refuses to like to even try to begin to pronounce it correctly. And I don't understand. Like you've been corrected on this so many times. It's purely I understand people make faults, people make mistakes every now and then, but like, dude, come on. Like purely, purely, not purely. I have tried other orange chicken before and I just don't like it. It's it's just not that good. So the orange chicken That's true. Did you see how like she's trying to pretend that it, this isn't a big deal or whatever, but you could literally see the sadness in her face when she talked about how other orange chicken isn't true because she has tested that theory so many times. She's tested out like, well, you know, I can't go to Cheesecake Factory, so maybe I'll try to do Pan Express or maybe I'll try to do this Chinese restaurant. But the truth is that she, Cheesecake Factory is the be all end all for her. And if it's not that, it's not good enough. The Cheesecake Factory is just. It's amazing. It is the right It's texture, frozen, the right first flavor, of all. It's not even like made fresh. With it and has There's barely vegetables rice, with it. And yeah, that double rice. I really that just, double rice girl. I wanted to do an orange. You know, I go to Chipotle and I get like, I'll get double chicken in my burrito bowl sometimes. She'll go, I, I guarantee you, if she loved Chipotle, she'd go and get double rice. Chicken mukbang because I want you guys to see the love. I have. You've done this orange chicken mukbang though. Because I like to eat it really, really, really fast. You eat your food in I general really, really fast. Coming up from behind me or the side of me trying to take my orange chicken. It happens True. a lot. I mean, do you really think someone could come up from behind you and get your orange chicken or even to the side of you? That is logistically almost impossible. I'm not trying to be rude, girl, but like you're getting exponentially bigger at an alarming rate like things aren't slowing down for you you're gaining you look bigger in this video than from last video so i mean i was hoping that maybe once your lexapro kicked in that maybe you would start i don't know what i was hoping what am i saying i hoping for something to change that will never change in the four years that she's been doing this i don't know and i, I just don't like it i don't like when people reach across the table and try to take it. Sometimes I have strangers coming up for me trying to take it. So I try. I want to know if she watched my video about her talking about her food aggression, because this is the first time she's ever kind of made a 
re reference to this. And I know, I don't know if other people have made reference to this, but I do think that she has food aggression the way that she covets her food when it's around her. She is a wor she is worried that people are going to take it from her. She acts like that. So I don't know. Maybe she watched my old other video about that. I'm gonna eat it as fast as I can because it's mine. The orange chicken is mine. <laughs> if I'm the one paying for it, it's mine. Oh my God. Don't touch it, honey. So, um. But the thing is, is we've seen this kind of Amber Lynn in other videos though. We've seen her in the past with Destiny or in the past with Becky or in the past with other people. When she has to share food, she's not happy. So I, I think I understand why people really disliked this video, other than the fact that you've guaranteed weigh-ins and you've been talking about this weight loss and once again, you've let your audience down and people are just fucking fed up with it. I think I am beginning to understand now why people are just so confused by this because there, a lot of this, you're trying to exaggerate, but a lot of it is just reality. And I'm wondering if people are just like, whoa like she legitimately doesn't see what everyone else is seeing in these videos now like this is a prime example or we're finally getting well not finally but we're actually realizing now that she doesn't see herself or her reality is extremely warped we've i mean we've known that for some time but this is actual acknowledgement that like, she does not live in reality. She does not understand how her behavior is. She doesn't understand what her actions look like to other people. Cheesecake. I mean, we know you were in Lexington. Either you've, ha I mean, you know when sh they went to Lexington, this bitch went to Cheesecake Factory. We know, okay? So you're telling me that she just has a Cheesecake Factory bag hanging around for the past three weeks because she supposedly hasn't been there since the last time they went to Lexington. I mean, come on, girl. Like, you know that there is, she had just eaten a, a fresh, like a fresh leftovers of or her second, you know, she, because I have a feeling she goes to Cheesecake Factory. She orders one meal, eats it there, and then gets one to go, <laughs> brings it home for the next day. I would not be that surprised. Factory. So I'm super, super excited. You guys are going to look at it and of just be like, you're excited. it looks amazing. And honestly, <laughs> It's never looked better. Oh, I'm so excited. So she's such a troll. Please, she's trying so hard to troll. Don't freak out because you're jealous. You're not eating the We're orange jealous. chicken with me. But you We're can always jealous. eat it too. Just if you have Uber Eats or you can drive to the closest cheesecake factory. Um, don't go to no Panda Express. Don't go to your local Chinese buffet. No, don't do that. <laughs> She's trying to pretend like she's she's trying to make her haters look stupid by talking about things that we kind of harp on her about. But bitch, you say buffet in real life. So it's not that we're like pulling shit out of thin air because you said it one time. You've literally mispronounced the word buffet for years now and refused to correct it. So bye. Orange chicken at the Cheesecake Factory is the way to go. So. Are you guys ready? We have orange. Where's the rest of the orange? Chicken. I am so. Is this like the end of her meal? Is <laughs> what she's showing us? That chicken looks with depressing how as good fuck. It smells. You can tell that the orange zest is completely from the earth. So. Completely I'm just from dive the earth. Right in. I do use my fingers. God. Comedy mm. legend right here. Comedy fucking legend. And like I said, you have to eat The it way she fast. eats is so loud. But that's how you normally mm. eat. So I don't know. No one, no this isn't satire. This is just like you making fun of yourself <laughs> and not in a really great way. You eat like that normally. We watch you eat. We watch you eat no. a whole baked potato in one bite. People judge my orange chicken love but yeah, those sprite zeros are going to be the fucking death of her i mean along with a lot of other things but my god i can't help myself i'm gonna talk and you know real quick she buys all this shit from tora but she can't buy a new fucking bra i mean good god dude i understand now why people were so fucking like what the fuck was that supposed to be you're you're trying to be a parody you're trying to be satire like what are you really trying to do you know like i don't know she 
It would have been more funny if she had a whole orange and like a whole rotisserie chicken. I think that would have been actually kind of funny. Or if she got a whole rotisserie chicken and then like got some orange food dye and dyed the whole thing orange. That would have been kind of funny. Um, she, if she had gone and ado like adopted a chicken, like gotten an, and adopted a, an orange chicken and named him Orange. And she could have had an orange chicken like in the backyard. But, you know, we don't need her to mistreat any more animals. And she already does. I completely understand why people are so fed up and why even her subscribers at this point are turning on her at an exponential rate. I mean, she's been trying to shield her weigh-ins with Becky because the truth is that they're not losing any weight. I mean, if you go on her My Fitness Pal, she updated her thing and she says that she has 341 pounds to lose. We know her goal weight is 200 pounds. She said that over and over again. That's 541 pounds, so she's gained weight. Even after talking about her meal plans and how she's going to do this and how she's going to like do intermittent fasting and she can't do that. And so we're like three weeks overdue for a new video at this point, for a weigh-in video, for an actual update into why she's not losing any weight and why she's not, you know, I'm sure she's not talking to her better help counselor anymore. I'm sure she's not, you know, she was talking about how she had to get blood work done for her doctor, never happened. Her doctor had her on a complete moratorium on all things exercise related. So that's why she's still riding the scooter around in Walmart because apparently walking is bad for you now you know who'd have thought right who'd have thought that a doctor would be like oh yeah my 540 pound patient i don't want you to do anything in fact i want you to like increase your rate at being bed bound and not like that makes no fucking sense to me i don't think any doctor would ever be like yeah don't walk anymore because we we don't know like if it was that if it was that dire if your doctor was that concerned about her heart they would have fucking admitted her to the hospital and ran a bunch of tests on her. They wouldn't have just been like, oh, yeah, be, just be bed bound until we get some blood. Like, what the fuck does blood work have to do with, like, how well your heart works? You know? Like, I feel like they would need an echocardiogram, maybe even a stress test. Not that she could do a stress test because I don't think a treadmill. They could do a chemical stress test on her. But I don't know. That's I'm going on a huge tangent or whatever. So I think I completely understand why her audience and why the haters were just like, this is fucking gold. Like, this is crazy. She has completely lost her fucking mind because she really has. She has no clue and no idea why people are just completely fed up with her at this point. And then to hide behind her size again, that's her only defense. Her only defense is her size. If you don't like her, if you don't like her personality, if you don't like her videos, it's because she's fat. It's not because of that. It's because you're making a mockery of the fact that, like, you are legitimately about to die. You are legitimately on a road to nowhere. And you're mocking the fact that people have supported you time and time again through so much adversity, through so much of your bullshit. And you come up with a video that's not even clever. Like, you weren't even clever about it. So... You know what? I don't blame people for being tired of it. And I'm sick of you hiding behind the whole body positivity thing because it's fucking stupid. Uh, the whole body positivity <laughs> movement in general is stupid, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video. Um, follow me on social media. I'm Michael B. Petty on Twitter, Michael B. Petty on Instagram. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought of the video, and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, toodles!